Dr. Anwar was such a unique candidate for the Citizen for the Law Award. He spent so much of his time supporting legal efforts that it was almost difficult to identify his day job as a practicing physician. In addition to volunteering with various community health projects, he also serves as mayor of the town of South Windsor and supports legal initiatives on local, state, national, and international platforms. Some of his notable contributions include peace missions to Israel and the Middle East, formally serving as a commissioner for the Asian Pacific American Affairs, and supporting the Connecticut Safe School Climate Coalition. Dr. Anwar has received numerous awards and acknowledgments, including the Anti-Defamation League Torch of Liberty Award for Alliance Building and Community Leadership, and the Human Relations Award from the National Council of Community Justice. It is hard to imagine much of a greater contribution to our esteemed profession by a non-attorney, and it is a privilege to honor Dr. Anwar this evening for his hard work and commitment to equal access to justice. I first met Dr. Anwar when I joined the South Windsor Human Relations Commission. That night he brought his wife, also a doctor, and two sons to the meeting. You see, doing good and community service is a family affair for the Anwars. As a mayoral candidate, he ran a clean campaign, speaking without vitriol or personal attacks. He won. As a doctor, one day while we were having lunch, a man came over to him and just gave him a huge hug in gratitude for saving his mother's life. As a friend, he was at my door the night my brother passed away. He is an ambassador, husband, father, public servant, physician, hospital administrator, teacher, speaker, and statesman. He is a man of spirituality, integrity, and he even makes house calls. No one knows exactly how he does all that he does. He doesn't appear to sleep or even get tired. My theory is simple. I think all of this is just a cover. It just may well be that this mild-mannered doctor is really Superman. You, Saud, embody the essence of the Jewish concept of tikkun olam, our responsibility to repair the world. As a physician, you help innumerable people at home in Connecticut and in the areas of the world most in need. As mayor of South Windsor, you work to improve the lives of those in your community. And dearest to our hearts, you have done so much to foster understanding between people of different faiths through your involvement with the Hartford Seminary, the Muslim Leadership Initiative, so many other organizations and programs, and through our beloved Brunch Bunch, which brought together a group of Muslim and Jewish couples five years ago and has evolved into a group of friends now traveling the Holy Land together. We have often said that there must be more than one of you because of all the marvelous things you accomplish. But since you are here with us, we know for sure that you are indeed a singular, amazing person. Congratulations. I'm a long ago civil rights activist with arrests in my past for standing up for justice. I knew back then that I needed to stand on the right side of history. I just didn't know where it was going. Dr. Saud is one of those, one of those voices that history will look at. It will proclaim his truth, the truth that he is unafraid to speak. Even in the face of disharmony, even the, in the face of resistance, that truth must continue to reign. His truth one day people will read about. They will read how extraordinarily courageous this man was.